Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. <laughs> I really love this movie. And as you can tell, like I, I got into character for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, how did it feel just to to play something biblical, but not right along with the story? Did it, did it make you think about your own faith playing these characters? Yeah. It made me think about mine because Verminia yeah. is a faithful woman, or at least she's a woman with a lot of integrity. <laughs> and so uh, I, I did reflect on that a bit. Yeah, for sure. I think for me, uh, for sure, I found Elijah in a space where RJ used to be. You feel me? It's like, okay, cool. I know about God. You know, they say he watch after me and stuff. He got angels. They like, I think they act like gang members. So mm. anytime that something bad come, they come to settle the issue. Um, but then, as I go along to then know who God is rather than just to believe in him, right, then I move different, you know. And I think that's where Elijah, we found Elijah, he's coming into the confirmation zone of, okay, God, you you, you real, real. All right, cool, because mm. well, they were saying it, but I ain't, because you ain't showed me, but now I did. Right, hey, how about just James just put in, because we know historically that, that we weren't just absent in the past or, the, or in the future, as, as a lot of movies used to do. But just to have Jace put characters that reflect our us into this story, and then look at it like, yeah, you feel. I mean, like, how did you feel playing? Because for me, as an audience member, I felt like more of a connection to that story than ever, just by seeing somebody that looked like me playing some of these characters. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It's because we don't see our correct history and all of the nuances. Mm-hmm. Like, so we don't identify with those times. You feel me? So I feel like in this movie time, so what? I feel like black people, right? We're all raised on faith mm-hmm. from some aspect, right? But we're never depicted in faith. You feel mm-hmm. me? So that's where the separation always comes from when it comes to us and our religion or right. how we spiritually connect because we never see the proof of us in these times. Right. We hear about it from other ones that look like us, but we never see it from ones that look like us. You feel yeah, me? So this right. is just like any other person that has a part of their culture that they want to depict or anything like that. That's why it feels good because it's like we know we belong here, but We've never seen us here. Yeah. Now that we see us here, now that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. I mean, your character was a lot of, most of the motivation for, for what was Clarence doing, but it wasn't just, you know, you got Alfred, you got like these powerful women playing mm-hmm. Virgin Mary and Mary Magdalene, and, and you, like, how did it feel like to see the portrayal that was written on the page for those characters within this story? Like RJ said, it's, you know, we knew, we've always known we existed in this time, but we've never gotten to see what we would look like in this time. Um, Our personalities, our warmth, our femininity, our whatever it was, we've never been able to see it depicted. And so it was exciting. It was kind of daunting. It was like, let's really get this right. Um, it was all of those things, and, and ultimately, I'm honored to have been a part of it. Um, there aren't many women in this film, um, but there are enough for you to have and feel their, their, their um, yeah, their, their, their space in it. In Italy, I mean, this is, how, how much of this is set design, and how much of this is just old Italy that we're seeing? Of? It's all just real. Yeah. It's so Matera like, is one of the oldest cities yeah, yeah. in the world. It's preserved that way. Yeah. Now, our set designers, they did their thing. They did. I, I, I've seen them build walls and pieces that aren't there, but Matera came with the goods. It's almost like a, yeah. a, a, a Hellcat or something. They come with all the bells and whistles. <laughs> you know, it just depends on how you drive it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're going from Book of Clarence to Book of Luke. What's the contradiction there? Because I'll be like, you go from yeah. this to pop that. Mm, all of them are part of the human experience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can take all They're all books, okay? <laughs> books are just the recollection and or recording of historic events and or the imagination of the mind space. Amen. So, in any way, these could be okay. You know, they can coexist. They're all books. Books Listen. ain't nothing but a record, you know? Well, look, I appreciate the blessings of this movie to see this was was great. Can't wait to everybody else gets to talk about it and see it. And uh, love you guys on screen, man. Can't wait to see thank everything you. else coming out. Thank oh, yeah. you so thank much. You, thank you.